ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Captain Frank Hawks, and this is another episode of Sailor. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are about to get underway to Oasis. We are probably going to have to chill for a while. Because the weather is bad. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, really fucking bad. But, real quick, I wanted to cover how you put cargo in your ship. Okay? So right here I have four boxes. None of you have any idea what these boxes are until I hover my mouse over it. So let's take a quick look, shall we? So what we have here is a box of salmon, which is 23 pounds. It's an individual box. We have books, which is an individual box and 160 pounds. We have goods, which is two boxes. Real quick, I need to grab my calcul calculator because I'm not all that bright. Okay, I can't just do math in my head. Divided by two is about 80 pounds per, um, per crate. Okay, what this means is is that we have to think about the weight on our ship and how we're going to put it. Now, if you look here, I've already got it lined up. Salmon is our lightest, it goes to the four. Goods is split up into two, so we can split that between the four and the aft, or, or the midship, okay? And then we've got this 160 pound box, which is going to go right in front of the helm. So the way I like to do things is either right up here in front is where all my personal goods are or right out here in back is where all my personal goods are. And uh, I coughed up a broom in order to be able to have it set up like this. Uh, the reason why I had a broom is because I had to completely restart the game because of stupid reasons. Because of very stupid reasons. And it looks like we're going to spend our day fishing today, which I'm completely fine with. Yeah, I am. But anyways, so... Ooh, look at that rainbow. Look at that rainbow. Mm -hmm. So, how this goes is you go from lightest to heaviest. So, let's say... Let's run over to the sandbuck real quick. Let's say... We were loading, I don't know, 10 times as much into the samba. Okay. Down here, and I don't even know if you can see it because of the damn storm, is the hold. Lightest stuff goes here. It's even lined. Look, we've got area 1, area 2, area 3, area 4, and area 5. As far as I'm concerned, this is Area 6, but unfortunately, hammocks are still stationary. You can't pick them up and move them where you want to go. So literally, the, the very lightest would go in the front, and the very heaviest would go in the back. The reason why is because, it, is because this creates a balance on your ship. You take a step back and really look at the ship. It's a U. It's more drastic on my smaller ship here. I don't, I don't have the sandbuck yet. I'm, I'm just imagining things. Into the water we go! Now look at this. That's a U. The center of the boat is lowest to the water. And when there's barely anything in it, like there is now, it stands proud of the water. Ta-da! So... This is the cutting surface of our ship. The entire reason why ships are shaped like this is so they can cut through the water. That's the reason why you get the splash effect that you do as you sail forward. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sailing in this. I don't give a shit. So, <clears throat> we take our lightest piece of cargo, the salmon, and it's going to go to the fore, right behind my fish hooks. So, about, about like so. Just, just so. 
Really wish there was rope in this game so I could secure the cargo the way that you're supposed to, but I'm presuming that's on the table. The reason why for me uh, hammocks being stationary is such a gripe is because that's not how hammocks work. Beautiful. Now, I've got weight in the front of my nose. Right here we have 80 pounds. Right here we have 160 pounds. This has to go closer to the rear of my ship. Okay? So, now I'm going to take the heaviest the books and this is just gonna sit right here okay you have to be smart cautious and mathematical about your cargo and I may rearrange pertinent to just the random ass math in my head and I want it sitting proud in front of the helm now we have the other half of our goods and what may end up happening is I may center all of this because we've got four crates due for Oasis, and we will set sail pretty much in the next episode. But what you're looking for is you're looking for the ass to be sitting. Would you come up, please? Thank you. Because you want the ass sitting low in the water, and you want the nose proud. And if we step back, we have that. Okay? You don't want it too much, and you don't want it too little. And as it happens, I'm thinking about moving a crate back. I have yet to fill a ship to the point where it's going to sink. And the reason why is because of my experience growing up in Corpus Christi, Texas. That's the reason why I'm always wearing that hat. Is be as I is of NGROTC and talking to random sailing people. And this is a legitimate thing even in the modern day. How you stack your cargo matters. It matters significantly. The last thing that we're going to check... Sorry, some random ass number. The last thing that we're going to check is how many days we have to get it there. We have seven days to get it there on the goods. We have five days total to get the books there. And we have seven days to get the salmon there. We're going to get there in about two, maybe three days, unless I fuck it up, and I have before. Okay, so this is what I think is going to happen, because I just did a little thinking, okay. There we go. I'm going to put this crate right here. The other crate is going to end up laying down in the floor. And the reason why is because I just had a very quick thought in my head about the way I nearly sank a ship last time because I didn't really balance the ship correctly. It doesn't have to be perfect. What the fuck is going on? What is going on? Weird. My movement was weird there for a second. All we want is for the nose to be proud. We don't need the aft sinking in the water and sinking us. The ballast at the center is damn near perfect. And honestly, I could probably lay two of those crates down, making them a little bit more stable. This standing up is how you sharply put weight on there. But anyways, in the next episode, we should be making for Oasis, and hopefully this storm will have passed. Ah, I messed it up. Till then, I'm literally going to be hanging out on the top of my ship, fishing. Why, you ask? Because this is the best part of the game. Yeah.
Hey, gold left. Oh, fuck. No, I don't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the outro. Hey, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to feed the algorithm gods, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, if you'd like to see more wacky, zany, variety content, don't forget to subscribe. It's not always going to be the same thing, guys. It's just not how I roll. If you would like to fund me to be here, go over to my Patreon and become a patron of mine. I would love to have you as a patron of mine. Okay, I really would. Um, otherwise, for now, God bless y'all. Have fun, be safe, take care of one another. Right now, more than ever, try to learn to forgive one another. I'm Captain Frank Hawkson. I'm signing out.